Hello, welcome to this month's issue of the Home Cooking Newsletter. My name is Dan Oaks, and these are my sons. This is Jackson, Hello. Carson, and Andon. My oldest son, Danny, is on a mission in Boston, serving a two-year mission for his church. He's got six months to go, huh? Yep. And my daughter, Brenna, she graduated early from high school. She's 17, and she got into BYU, and she's starting her first semester there. So now that it's just the three boys home and Kathy, we decided to go on a fishing trip to Alaska, right guys? Yep. It was awesome, huh? We flew to Juneau and boarded this float plane. And then we flew out to this lodge in the middle of nowhere. And we saw whales, huh guys? Yeah, we saw a lot of whales. Yeah, and we saw sea lions, or is that what they were? Yeah, sea yeah, lions. And we saw giant jellyfish. Yeah, <laughs> jellyfish. Jellyfish everywhere. And we did a lot of fishing and we caught some. What did we come home with? Five cases, five 50 pound cases. Uh, Fillets. Fillets, yeah. Salmon and uh, halibut. Halibut, halibut, right? Black bass, Black yellow bass. eye, quillback. Yeah, yellow eye. They were the cool looking, huh? Quillback and everything, yeah. Yeah, we caught some big ones. Buddy of mine caught a 65 inch halibut. 140 pounds. Yeah, and he pulled, he pulled it up from uh, 400, 400 feet down. It was a big task and it was awesome. It was so fun, huh, guys? Yeah, that thing was huge. Yeah, so we've got all this fish now, and so we're on the lookout for good recipes. We caught, what, 42 salmon in one day? I know, yeah. Oh, man, big ones, too. It was awesome. So we found this halibut recipe that's, like, ah, uh, to die for. It's healthy, it's, it's baked. It's amazing. I know, and it tastes so good, seriously. It takes only about 20 minutes, too. Yeah, I know, it's pretty quick, huh? So we thought we'd show that to you. And the boys are going to help me make this. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. So first thing we're going to do is measure out two cups of breadcrumbs. It's got this really yummy breadcrumb kind of crust. And yeah, it's, it's so good. I know. Oh, man, look at that, guys. Just enough. Wow, that was close. Okay, and then we're going to do one cup of Parmesan cheese here. Okay. I'll measure this out, and then you guys can help me in a second here. So about one cup. Oh, that's a little more. There we go. One cup of Parmesan cheese. Then we need like four tablespoons of, uh, we grab me a knife over there. See that one, Carson, by the sink? Four tablespoons of fresh parsley chopped. Thank you. Fresh parsley. So I'm going to chop this up here. I was just using this knife to cut that fish over there. So it's all going to be baked. It's going to be good. That's probably enough. I'm going to measure out here. You know, uh, this is kind of hard to measure, and uh, but usually we just kind of eye it up anyway. So that's about, and uh, maybe just a little more. You can't more have too much parsley, I know, huh? Huh, guy? Okay. And then we're gonna need two teaspoons of garlic powder. So I'm just gonna eye it up with this tablespoon measuring thing. I'll just do about two thirds of that full amount. And if you get a little extra, it's garlic powder, right? So that's gonna be good. I like to put a little salt and pepper in just to kind of, just to taste. Here, we're going to salt and pepper it again, boys, in a minute. Now that we got that, stir that up for me, will you guys? Uh, just, uh, you could use your hands or you could even use this. Mix it all in real good, okay? Stir it up all good, real good. While you're doing that, I'm going to cut these lemons here. And you want to come over here and help me while they're doing that there? Anna, you want to come help me over here while they're doing that? Okay, well, they're stirring that up, getting it mixed real good. Ann and I over here, we're going to start doing the next step. We're going to put some olive oil into this plate. And you don't really need to measure it if you run out, then just add more, right? So we're going to do that. And then we're going to take our halibut fillets over here. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do this, and then you can help. Okay, Jack, I'm going to show you how to do this, too. So we're going to squeeze lemon on this bad boy. Whoop. I like to drip it good, and I mean, I go heavy on this because it's so yummy. Fresh halibut that we cut, caught, I mean, huh, in Alaska. Halibut's a big fish. Have you ever seen it? I had no idea what one looked like. And then once it's got the lemon on it, we're going to go ahead and just dip it in this uh, olive oil here, get it coated real good. And when it's good and coated, you know what I like to do is salt and pepper it again here on the individual fish. Say, so guys, you getting this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like this. And the fillets. We had a big fish fry with the family after we got back and we showed a bunch of photos from our trip. When it's good and it's got lemon and olive oil, some salt and pepper on it. And then what we do, 
Oh, I forgot a step, guys. Mm. Here, Jack. Oh, put us some uh, tin foil on this pan right here. And then I put the bar on Okay, there you go. And now, now that we got that on there, we're gonna put this uh, little, we got a little grill grate kind of thing on just to kind of elevate it so it gets baked. You don't want it to get soggy in the bottom. And then we're gonna spray it with pan here too. So it doesn't stick. Okay. Thanks, Anna. Okay, now that we got that sprayed real good, when we take this, I'll do one and then I'll show you guys how to do it and you can do it, okay? We take this fillet and we drop it in this. And I like to take this and really pat this breadcrumb mixture on here and mm -hmm. just get it layered on nice and thick because it's so... It's it good. I know, huh? And it's crispy when it bakes and it's good. And then I take this out and I'll just put it on this little... Uh, tray here and I'd like to sprinkle even a little more. Really get that on there. Doesn't that smell good? Okay, you guys got it? Yep. Help, help out here, dig in. So you're gonna, one more time I'll show you. Take the filet, squeeze some lemon juice on it real good. Am I getting you an eye? Oh man. <laughs> lemon juice all over. And then you dip it in the oil. Yep, and then you put it up. Salt and pepper it a little bit, season it. Pepper. Boom, boom, boom. Get some salt on that. Mm. And then we dip it in this here and get it all good and coated. And then we put it on this tray over here, okay? You guys got that? Yep. Okay. Okay, while these boys are wrapping up this part, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the oven to 450 degrees to preheat and then we're gonna bake these for 15 minutes. I learned how to clean a halibut and fillet it. Got pretty good at it, huh guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of, huh? Actually, the truth is, maybe we'll show it at the end of this video. We did a little trickeration. I started and then the camera panned away. And then the captain of our boat finished. And then they panned away and then I stepped back in and uh, we made it look as if I did it, it was awesome. Faked everybody out. Okay, looks good. Here, let's do this. So yeah, that's the idea, I think. So we got these good in on here. I'm gonna put even a little more just for kicks here. Put a little more of this yummy breadcrumb mixture on these fillets here. We're gonna cook this up. We serve these a lot of times with green beans in the pressure cooker. That's yummy, huh guys? Yeah. Oh yeah, we should make I know, yeah. huh? And fresh corn, we cut off the cob and froze. Yeah, when it was, yeah that's good. And uh, rice is good with it, or mashed potatoes, huh? Uh -huh. Anyway. Mashed potatoes are, is really good with the halibut. It tastes or like corn chicken. on the cob. Yeah. So now I that this is done, oh, one good. last step. Now that we're done here, here's what we're going to do is we're going to put some olive oil, or just in this case, I'm going to put a little this cooking spray on it. This is going to hold the breadcrumbs down, and then it's going to just kind of give it a little kind of a topping that's going to. Ah, uh, yum! Okay, so now that it's got this oil on the top, we're gonna put this in the oven to cook for 15 minutes. Okay, I think the timer went off. Let's, why don't you pull the halibut out, Jack? Let's see how it looks. The thing I love about this halibut is it's got that flaky crust because it's baked and it's healthier that way too. But the thing is the flavor is amazing. And in addition to that, it's really tender. Like sometimes halibut, if it's overcooked, it's kind of, uh, well, it's kind of dry and tough, and this is uh, this is really tender and good. Okay, it looks pretty good. Look at that. It got nice and brown on the top there. Let's go ahead and turn the timer off so it's not beeping anymore. And uh, let's see if we can get a spatula here and get one of these out. What do you say, guys? Yeah. How's it looking? Pretty good, huh? Looks fantastic. Let's pull out this big one right here. This looks nice, and they all look good. Put it on this plate. Look at I, I like to serve it with fresh vegetables for some reason. I guess it's because it's healthy and with the cucumber and the tomatoes. Oh, so good. Did you save me a fork, guys? Should we try this? Yep. Yeah. Looks like we are doing it. Careful, it's gonna be hot. So it's so flaky and uh, yummy. And halibut's a good fish because it doesn't mm. taste real fishy. Tastes How like is chicken. It? Does it taste like chicken? Mmm. -hmm. Actually, <laughs> I actually think there's even more bread comes on it. Mmm. <laughs> God, you did a great job making this.
My bite tastes hey, just I made right. This one. Yeah, you did? Mm -hmm. It's just got just the right amount of salt and pepper and the seasoning and the flavoring and everything's so good. Get a little bit of cucumber with that. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you for joining us. And uh, if you get a chance, try out this halibut recipe at home and let us know how you like it. We'll see you next time. Say bye, guys. Bye. bye. you guys how to fillet a halibut had a, some practice while I've been here in beautiful Alaska look at this is this beautiful or what so what you're gonna do now is go ahead and cut down the side here and uh, I like to put that little notch over there by the tail cut under here like so get it right off the bone just right cut up here up the side Got to be careful about this part so you don't cut your arm. And then now you got a nice fillet right there. Cut down the other side, right across the bone there. Takes a little practice to get this just right. Pull that off. The, yeah, and boom, that's all it takes. Bada bing. And, uh, and then you got your fillet and you can flip it over and do the other side and... Uh, Tastes delicious. You're going to love it when we get back. Woo!